And now to the latest on the attack at the American University in Afghanistan. There are now reports that one student is dead and 14 have been wounded. Local media in Kabul said the attack started just after 7.30 p.m. It began with an explosion and sounds of gunfire. And according to U.S. law enforcement, one source there on the ground, at least one American is injured and is in the hospital. CBS News producer Ahmed Bukhtar is in Kabul. Ahmed, you were actually there at the scene at the university the time the bomb exploded. Walk us through it. What did you see and what did you hear? Yes, uh, actually, I was standing inside the campus with one with my friends, with my classmates. We were talking and we were chatting as usual. Uh, uh, suddenly, we heard some uh, gunshots, let's say several gunshots. Uh, we lowered our head and we tried to, we thought there was some, something was happening. And then we heard a very huge explosion. And everyone, uh, we, uh, everyone tried to escape from the area. Uh, uh, before that, we, we were told if, if any incident is happening in the university, there is an emergency exit from the, for the university at the back of each university. So everyone, including the students, professors, everyone at the university, they were trying to reach themselves uh, toward the, those uh, the gates. Uh, me, some of, some, some of the other students, including myself, we climbed to one of the towers security uh, towers at the American University. And then from there, we dropped ourselves uh, to the back side of the university where we escaped. Uh, while we were escaping, uh, we could still hear the gunshots. Uh, and uh, as, as we, were, we were trying to escape, the gunshots were getting closer and closer. Uh, 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 after we escaped from there, uh, some of my uh, my professors as well, they were among the students and were trying to escape the university. Uh, uh, then uh, there were local people who came and rushed to us and they helped us, the students, uh, but several other students uh, trapped inside the university. Uh, right now we still do not know uh, if uh, the students are still inside the university, still trapped or not. Uh, Ahmed, you were there, you heard the explosion, you saw people rushing out of the university. Uh, have you connected with any of these students to get their sense of things, how they're feeling at this moment? Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat your question? Ha have, you, uh, not hear you very well. sorry. have you talked to any of the students who were uh, caught up in the attack? Have you talked to any of the other witnesses? Uh, I spoke with, uh, with a friend of mine, he's also a student who escaped with us. Uh, he was injured actually when, when, when he dropped himself from the, uh, from like, uh, let's say, five to six meter tall wall. He dropped himself from there. His hand was injured. He went to the hospital and he got some stitches. Yeah, I spoke with, and I spoke with several other students uh, who are my friends. Uh, they were at home and they were safe. Ahmad, I'm curious about the situation there on the ground. We've been so focused on the U.S. elections here. How is the situation politically? Has there been an uptick in violence? And how, obviously, it was an American, the title is American University. They're clearly targeting American interests there. Well, uh, these are actually uh, have uh, political problems in Afghanistan and also uh, security problems at the same time. Do not forget that any foreign institutions uh, and foreign offices in Afghanistan, uh, especially in Kabul, is under uh, under threat and under uh, uh, they will be attacked anytime. Uh, even last year, we received reports, uh, uh, threat reports, uh, that there will be an attack at, uh, again at this university, and the classes were dismissed for uh, for a few days. Uh, overall, the security situation is getting uh, worse. Having said that, in the south, in Helmand, there is a very tough fighting that is going on between the Afghan forces and the uh, uh, Taliban, which also uh, brought American forces back to the front line in Helmand. Uh, uh, the Taliban are gaining control, gaining, uh, they have uh, good achievements in, in, the, in the south in Helmand and also in the north and in Kunduz. We have been witnessing that 
the Taliban are attacking uh, uh, districts and they are getting uh, they are taking control of several districts. Uh, uh, and also, we are actually having a uh, uh, political problem in Afghanistan. Uh, uh, the political differences between the two uh, leaders of uh, Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani and the CEO Dr. Abdullah Abdullah. Uh, the security situation is really getting worse. Uh, 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 at the, one of the events with the American uh, officials, an American official told us that there is a lack of uh, leadership within the Afghan security forces, which led uh, 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 the Taliban to take control of several uh, areas in the north and also in the south. All right, CBS News producer Ahmed Mukhtar, eyewitness to the attack uh, on American University in Kabul. We're glad you're all right, and we thank you for your report.